five things that you must do in order to prepare yourself to win. Number one, you must prepare your mindset. The mindset must be, this is not about what's convenient. This is not about what's easy. This is not about what I can do at the moments and the times um, that I have available to do. This is, I have to reposition my mind that this becomes the priority, um, the second priority to any and everything else that is essential. Now, what is essential? Work is essential family is essential. And then guess what? This is your business. This is your brand. This is your livelihood. This is your why. This becomes the next thing that is essential. And you have to prepare your family for what's next and help them to understand. So number one, you're going to prepare your mindset. Get in a mindset that says, I must get this done. Number two, you got to prepare your family. So that means you, that there's going to be times where there's going to be late hours. Because when you're in massive action, it's not two hours a day. It's not three hours a day. Um, heck, for some people, it's 16 hours a day if you're doing it full time. If you're part time, you're getting off the, you're getting off what you're doing it at your lunch hour. You're on the phone on your way to work. You're on the, you're on the phone on your way home. You can make certain dinners prepared or all of that. And then when everybody is settled, you're up and you're on the phones and you're working with your teams, your work. So you've got to prepare your mindset. Number two, you must prepare your family. Number three, Number three, you must prepare your schedule. You have to make certain that you create a schedule that is conducive for you to win. Because if you don't, whatever you put in it is what you're going to get out of it. If there is no in investment, there shall be no return. Are y'all getting that? If there's no investment, there shall be no return. If there's no seed sown, there's no harvest that's going to be benefited. So you got to make time. How do you make time? You schedule time. Let me say that again. How do you make time? You schedule time. You schedule time for your business. So prepare your mind, prepare your family, prepare your time. Well, how do you prepare your time? You schedule your activities. And, and, and I love what Dr. Minister Diamond Mooney would say. He says, he says that you have to uh, make certain that you're scheduling money making activities. We don't want you to be busy. We want you to be productive. So make certain that the activities that you're scheduling are productive activities, right? Now, so number one, you got to prepare your mind. Number two, you got to prepare your family. Number three, you got to prepare your time. That means you got to prepare your schedule, right? What's the fourth thing you got to prepare? The, the fourth thing you got to do is you got to prepare your budget. <laughs> what, what do you What do you mean? You got to You got to make because in this there's going to be some investment that has to be made. What you talking about, Coach Dan? I'm supposed to be making money. Well, again, you got to make an investment. What is the investment? You got to invest in the product so that you can have samples available. You got to invest in a product so that you can go and do pop-ups for your customer, your, your different pop-ups and different vending events. You got to invest in the products. There's going to be packages that's going to come out to help you, to position you so that you can position yourself to be able to win. So you got to make certain that with any business, you're ready, you're ready to make the investment. All right. And then the fifth thing is this. You got to prepare you. You got to prepare not only your budget, but you have to pre be prepared to be. Watch this for the plan not to go as planned. Why are you saying that? <laughs> Why are you saying that? Because I don't want you to get stuck. And if it don't go the way you think it is, you just give up. Because that's what we have the tendency to do. Um, I want you to plan your work and work your plan, but then I need you to understand how to recover when the plan don't work. And you have to prepare your mindset to be able to adjust. You have to prepare your mindset to be able to accommodate. This is going to be very, very important, you guys, when you're, when you're moving into massive action. When you're moving into massive action, things are going to be quick. The thing is going to be a lot. And let me tell you something. 
part of this in, in, in your preparation process is, um, and, and then I'm, as, as we go into our next training, I'm going to break it all the way down for you because part of this in your, re, your uh, preparation process is to go back to sales academy. I encourage everybody to go back to sales academy before you get to massive action. What you talk about, Coach Dan? For example, I encourage you to go and get a new 100 top 100 list. I encourage you to go and identify, uh, and in that top 100 list, let's see if we could go after 50 people that we know need to be customers. Let's go after 50 people that we know are already in business, they're looking for opportunities, or they're just over broke. But I've been in this for so long, but I'm an emerald, I'm a diamond. Guess what? You are only as good as the last 30 days that you reach that rank. We just nice. We just nice. You're only as good as the last 30 days that you reach that rank. So, so, so the money comes when you reach the rank. So you got to go back to do what you did to get the rank when you first did it. So you could get the rank again. Y'all understanding this. And so listen, Erica, hey, my Erica, uh, how's that great husband of yours doing? Um, she asked, can we repeat? Number one, we got to prepare our mindset as we move into massive action. Number two, we got to prepare our family. Number three, um, we have to prepare our time. We got to be able to schedule this. Um, number four, we have to prepare and develop our budget because we got to invest in this. And then number five, we have to prepare for something not to go as planned. Hey, listen, you guys, I got about a room full, about 100 leaders that I'm about to go and coach. But I want to, um, I'm going to pass it to Ms. Phyllis. I'm going to pass it to Mr. Diamond Mooney. And they're going to take us away because we're getting ready for massive, massive action. And I look forward to seeing you at the top, at the very top, to the tip, tip, top. All right. Bless you. Prosper.